This next fight is a boxing fight in the cruiserweight division. What's the division for? In the red corner, weighing in at 88 kilograms, fighting as an independent fighter with a record of no wins and two losses. Please put your hands together for Ross Collins. On to our seventh bout of the night. This bout will be boxing. Our first fighter in the red corner is Ross Collins, an independent fighter. Ross has a record of 0 and 3. Will he be able to turn that around tonight? And our second fighter in the blue corner, Paul Barrett, playing our sports martial arts in Staines. Seems he's got quite a crowd behind him. If that will help with his debut, we will see. Paul Barrett looking the longer of the two fighters. Ross Collins, the, the bigger. Looking very, very strong, powerful. Clearly looking to uh, break his current 0-3 record. Get a we win have, under his belt. We have seen Collins fight before. He's looking in much better shape than in previous outings. Fighters stepping up. Straight in. Advancing early is Barrett establishing his jab. Good long jab there from Barrett, reaching his range very effectively. Popping it out and he seems to be splitting Collins' guard with every shot. Oh, really pounding in now. Barrett doing good work of going high and low, working the body. Good head movement there from Barrett. Really effective war use of that jab. Collins really going to have to work to get around it, get inside. A very nice stiff jab from Barrett. Seems very difficult to deal with. Now we go, now we see some combination from Collins. Good hooks going in there. A lot of pressure Barrett covering up. It seems this is the range Collins will need to keep this fight. Well, Collins has to you know, commit and get in there. Good, good work there. 
working the hooks, working the body. Collins will have to work a little bit harder to keep Barrett on the ropes. But a good, good body shot body from Collins. Shot there, exactly. Good juice of the jab though. Collins still backing up, controlling that distance. He's eased off a little bit though. Collin Collins managing to push forward and he's found him again. He's got him up against the ropes. Good hook to the head, good jab there. We are seeing a little bit of blood from Collins though. I think that jab of Barrett adding up damage with every shot. Good body cross there. Working that jab. Body cross the body again yeah, and then Collins pulling forward. Again, these flurries from Collins do seem to be effective. But is he able to maintain that range? Collins' flurries were landing as well. He's landing some significant shots to the body and a few significant shots to the chin. Barrett definitely slowed down after the first flurry. Certainly at the beginning of the round, he was making exceptional use of that jab, keeping him away. Both fighters showing where their mastery lies. It just depends whose game plan can stay more consistent. Barrett using that nice stiff jab, and Collins rushing in, landing those strong combinations of body and head. I think a really important one for this fight is going to be the gas tank, which fighter has the bigger engine. Standing up now for the second round. Both of them breathing through the mouth, trying to get back some air. Straight in though. Oh, a good jab from Collins this time. Good. Collins finding his reach now. But again, Barrett also really firing him with that jab. Collins needs to solve the problems of Barrett's jab, or he's going to have a very tough next two rounds. Yeah, really fantastic work from Barrett on the jab and coming in with a cross there but defended. Collins is doing good, keeping his guard up. Good head moving there from Barrett. Both men working jab, now Collins coming in with the flurry. Landing some of the shots, landing to the chin. A little bit better from Barrett's defence this time. He's reacting more to those shots. I'm not sure many of them got through. Good head movement. Good jab. Collins finding that jab as well. Oh, and a lovely cross from Barrett. Both fighters trading jabs. Both doing a really good job of slipping the, uh, the punches through their defences. And a lovely jab there from Barrett. Barrett now going low, working the body. Both fighters slowing down. Starting to show signs of uh, fatigue here. Especially with these heavier guys, it will be apparent. Good push from Barrett there, good strength getting Collins up against the ropes. Right, breaking them up, reset. And good hooks there. Hook to the body, back pushing him, uh, Collins, sorry, pushing him back. I feel a little bit too late for Collins. I feel Barrett's taken this round from him quite consistently. So far, this has definitely been the fight of the jabs. The jab, Barrett's jab being more effective and that being the most effective technique of the night. He's also doing a very good job of going high and low, but Collins is very dangerous when he comes back. Some of those flurries have really worn uh, Barrett down. Barrett's going to have to have a lot of pressure in this third round. If he doesn't keep out on the ropes, it's going to be a tough round. Yeah, I think Collins is going to have to come out strong in this one and try and dominate, really get some of those flurries and land some significant shots and really try to watch out, find a, get some head movement going, try and avoid that jab because if Barrett lands many more of those, I think the fight could be his. He's got to break that pattern, show, show, show his attitude, really take it to the ropes.
Okay, third and final round, here we go. Really good fight so far, let's see them both finish strong. There we go, there we go, Barrett straight in with the jab. Then Collins know he's not going to stop. Both fighters moving around the ring. Collins starting a bit slower to easing his way in. Barrett going high then low. Working the body there. Good head move from Barrett. Lovely work. And then here comes Collins with a big fly. Good head move there. Now Barrett tied him up. Jab there again from Barrett. Barrett moving exceptionally well for a bigger guy. A good combination from there. Barrett this time. I think Collins is using his lateral movement a little bit better this round, but that's not going to win him the fight. Finding the body with the cross and still leading with that jab. Collins can't get inside it. It must be very, very frustrating. And hooks to the body there from Barrett. Barrett flying in. Good counter jab there from Collins though. Barrett getting confident now, keeping his hands down. Almost taunting Collins to come in. Both fighters showing their fatigue now. Collins unwilling to shoot first. Last few seconds of the third round. And there it is. Collins showing a lot of heart, but not that killer instinct. I think this fight has definitely gone to Paul Barrett. I'd be very surprised if it went Collins' way. Showed really, really good flourishes at times and that's a very significant choice, particularly in the first round I thought. That really put Barrett on the back foot, but I think Barrett definitely really used that jab with masterful efficiency. Judges' decision will be read by our MC, Carl Orta. 